So uh, I'd like to add an edit buttons and um, so what I've done, edit is a, is a lot like add, the only difference is um, that when you edit you want these um, fields to be populated and to do that uh, you need to know what the product ID is and then you need to echo out the values uh, for these based on that product ID. Um, let's see, the other thing is, is you know, when you, um, when you um, go to edit then you also need to have the product ID so that the correct record gets edited or the, or the correct row gets edited. So to get started what I've done is I made a copy of the add product form and add product and I named them edit product and edit product form and I'm going to be editing the index.php file so um, just in case I made a mistake I just uh, made a copy of that so I can always go back if I need to. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just look at the code for um, the column that has a delete button in it and um, I can just go ahead and copy that and then paste it and um, we're going to go to the edit product form and um, if I want to I probably should just copy that and paste it in just to make sure I get it spelled right and everything and um, and we're going to send in as a hidden value the product ID um, and the category ID so that's that form let's take a look Oh, I'm sorry I, I also need to change that um, value of the delete button to edit and just to show you what that looks like in the code um, it's just the submit button has a value of edit so I'm going to save that out and now we can go <coughs> excuse me um, We'll start by going to the um, the edit product form, and let me just take a look at it in design view. And again, this button instead of um, saying add product, it's going to say edit product, and um, and then the the form action is going to be um, edit product. and just to just to show you what that looks like in code I just changed the form action here and um, we're going to come back in a minute and populate these um, values but before we do that I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the edit product page and um, first thing that we need to do is we need to add one more value here and that's going to be the product ID and, um, and then we're going to change this query um, it's, it should look like what's on page 129 and um, we have to identify the product ID when we do the um, query and it's going to instead of an insert it's going to be an update so let me go ahead and type that in um, so you don't have to watch me type it in and then I'll come back to the video so I'll pause for a second so here's the code um, to um, update the more than one column um, this is on page 605, uh, there's an example on page 605 so basically you say update 
the table name, set, and then you list each of the uh, column names that you want to edit, um, followed by the value. Remember I got those values from the post up here. And um, you separate them by commas, and um, and then at the end you have a where statement because we're only updating the one record where the product is I equal the product ID is equal to the one that we passed in. Now I changed this variable name so that it would match the um, convention that they're using of doing the underscore here and then um, and then in the database itself though if you go in and look at the database you can see that they're using this camel case notation so it's very important that you know um, how uh, how things are labeled so these are these are the labels from the database and then these are the variable names and these could be whatever the variable names can be whatever you assign them um, but you have to just make sure that you really know what those are because if you miss something then it's not going to work. So um, I'm going to go ahead and save this and then in the next video I'm going to go back to the edit product form and show you what I need to do. I need to be able to pass in this product ID so I'm going to copy that um, that variable name there and then um, and then I also need to be able to populate that page with the uh, with the data.